Carlos the Jackal appeared in a Paris court on Monday at an attempt to appeal his life sentence for carrying out bombings in France three decades ago. The self-proclaimed revolutionary is serving two life sentences in France for bombings in France that killed 11 people in 1982 and 1983, and he is also serving for a triple murder in 1975. The Venezuelan has remained in jail since 1994 after being seized in Sudan by French agents. A lawyer representing some of the victims told reporters that it is not expected that anything will come from the appeal and that the second trial will only mean more suffering to all those affected by Carlos's actions. I am not expecting anything from this appeal. Carlos has the right to make an appeal and he has therefore exercised his right. So there is a second trial which is for the victims, an ordeal, additional suffering because in any case they had had the satisfaction to see years later there is no impunity for terrorists and year later justice always finds a way to catch them. The memories are still fresh for all of the people affected by the bombings, and this new case will make those memories even realer. Jacques Raudman was one of the lucky survivors of a train bombing that is said to be the work of Carlos. He was present at the court hearing to see what will come out of the appeal. On a pris le train. We took the train, and at Valanche, I saw three people, among them Carlos, who was disguised. I recognized him later. They got off, and before arriving at the Tain Lermitage tunnel, the bomb exploded. There were five of us in the train compartment. Three died, and I got off with my wife, with our wounds, but nothing compared to those who died. Carlos has been linked to multiple explosions and deaths throughout the Cold War and has killed 83 people over the years. He was finally caught by French agents after he fled to Sudan following the fall of communism in 1989. He has been in jail ever since, which is likely to go unchanged upon the results of the appeal.